Previously on Living Free. Poor old lady, older lady. She was just leaving with her trailer. There's a bunch of druggies around here. I just wanted you to let you know that. My next video is gonna be, somebody tried to break into my rig and I got in a fight. <laughs> Please. Not barking or anything. <laughs> friendly? Oh, you she, are super friendly. She's a sweetheart. It's a new life. friends um i'm out exploring on my e-bike here i'm right next to flagstaff it's actually belmont um just outside of flagstaff this free camping area is <laughs> now i gotta edit that out <sighs> it's pretty awesome uh Lots of places to camp. It's actually not very packed at all either. There's a few campers over there, a few back there. I'm at the very beginning of it. That's where I decided to park. Um, the road in is a little rough, but totally manageable. I mean, you, you definitely won't get stuck, even in a big, big rig, like a Class A. I've seen a couple Class A's, but what I mean by rough is just bumpy, super bumpy. Um, You'll make it, though, if your suspension doesn't give out. <laughs> but there is a lot of room to camp out here. Of course, uh, you can't have fires right now. Uh, probably not a good idea. But look at this. If you're in the shade, there's a lot of trees, a lot of trees. High 70s right now, um, not bad at all considering it's like over 104 in quartzite right now. It's a little tough to breathe up here because we're at like 7200 uh, elevation. It's nice. Very, very nice. Well, good morning folks. I left at about 6.30 this morning, Flagstaff area, that Belmont campsite. Um, just because it's gonna stay cooler longer for the tires. Um, and I'm heading south to Northside. Gotta make one stop and get some groceries, but yeah. If I can make it down there uh, early enough, then it'll still be somewhat cool out. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Got 175 miles to go before my first stop and then on to Quartzsite. Still gonna be hot down there of course for a little while maybe a couple more weeks but I've got the generator so 
yeah, that ought to keep me cool during the hottest part of the day anyway. And I'm not gonna get a whole bunch of extra gas. What I'm gonna do is fill up my RV gas tank that holds 50 gallons. I'm gonna get a gas siphon pump at Walmart <coughs> and just fill my other gas can with it when I run out. Woo! That way I don't have to carry a whole bunch of gas cans with me. Makes sense, right? Okay. child I know you hurt and you can't let go it's not your fault and you don't deserve all the bad in the hurt all right friends uh, I made it to the LTVA south here in Quartzsite beautiful place took the e-bike to go get my long-term sticker which is awesome. Got a lot planned around here. It's still pretty hot though. I think it's about 104 degrees outside. Um, but the, the issue is the rocks are so hot that I don't want silver um, walking on them during the day much. So I found her little booties. And I just put them on. We're going to see how that goes. <laughs> Silver, come on. Come on. Yeah. It's weird, right? Come on. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> it's so weird, right? That one back there is, is a little off, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Okay, I fixed her back shoe there. Come on, Silver. Come on. It's, it's so weird. Yeah, people wear shoes all the time though. Yeah, now you can go potties without burning your feet as poos. Come on. This is my camp spot. That person was not here uh, earlier or yesterday. It was pretty open. Got an excellent spot here. It's over. So I want you to go potties. That's why I put the shoes on. Go potties. Come on. I know. You'll get used to them. Yeah. See, if I put my feet on the rocks, I can't even hold. Ah, that hurts. That burns. That's how hot it is. But I've got this awesome border around... My camp here, got this big old fire pit right here. Uh, another fire pit. And this is all boarded off, so even if this place uh, gets totally packed, I'm way out in the back. So even if this place gets totally packed, I'll still be all good. Sober, go to the potties. Go potties. Well, I'm gonna try to get her to go to the potties here. I'll talk to you guys later. She's got just got to get used to it. Awesome, it worked. Well, I waited till 2.30 to turn on the air conditioner, but it is hot. It is really hot. It's supposed to get to 106 today. It's 105 degrees in here. The sun is shining directly on my thermometer out there. Well, not directly. It's behind the tire in the shadow of the, of the tire, but still. It's shining on that that side of the RV. That's why it says it's 126. But it's actually more like 106 right now. Um, 105 maybe. Still really hot. Waited till 2.30. I'm just going to run it during the hottest parts of the day. Um, it's been 100 degrees in here for the past two hours. So it became enough. It became enough. I'm gonna run it till about 6, 6.30, and then shut it off. And we should be good. Air conditioner's working great. I'm almost out of gas in my first can. I got maybe, maybe a few more days, but eventually I'm going to have to use this uh, siphon pump 
and pump some gas out of my gas tank. I've got 50 gallons in my gas tank, so I think that I think if this works, I think that's a lot better than carrying like five or six different ga five gallon gas cans or going up there all the time to refill. Yeah. Well, it's gonna start cooling off. I've been pouring cold water over Sober all day uh, to keep her nice and cool. Always making sure her water is full. And I've been in the back with the fan on, uh, just spraying myself down with this. Oh, feels so good, this water. It really helps. <laughs> Woo! All right. Ooh, it is hot. Probably be hot till about the end, mid, mid to, to end of October. That's all right. Hey guys, living on the road full time in my RV can bring me on some pretty crazy adventures. I encourage you to follow along in my adventures on the road. So please subscribe to my channel, share my videos, and thanks for watching.